weight of the world is shifting in ways that will surprise and perhaps even shock you. Not so long ago, in many of the world's poorer countries, hunger was the headline health concern. Estimates put the number of malnourished at 700 million and obese, mainly in rich countries, at 100 million. How the tables have turned. In truth, no country has managed the transition to get rid of hunger without it shifting to obesity very rapidly. Among low and middle income countries, there's not a single country that I'm involved with or know about or have studied from Sub-Saharan Africa to South Africa to the Middle East to Asia and Latin America that has controlled this problem. By 2010, the number of malnourished people had grown only marginally, but the number of obese people had exploded to 500 million. It's predicted that by 2030, more than 1 billion will be obese. So we have exported the burden of obesity into the emerging economies, just at a time when we're kind of leveled off. This is a worldwide problem, and every country in the world should be concerned about it. How will the world cope with its dramatically expanding waistline and the serious, complex, often deadly health risks that can accompany obesity? Diabetes, cancer, heart disease. But certain types of foods what I prefer to call food products, they are as bad as tobacco and alcohol. It's as simple as that. Tonight, we'll head to some of those globesity hotspots on fat's new frontier. India. China. Brazil. And to the place that's the overweight champion among these large countries, Mexico. Mexico. 